This room now is a fact. We're all in the room. It's a fact. But suppose I don't want to be here. Suppose it becomes a prison to me. Can I get out of it? If I know to penetrate the fact, if I know that I am the ark, that all things exist in the human imagination, and the human imagination and God are one. They are one, not two. I can, in my imagination, penetrate any wall. I can now, without batting an eye, the twinkle of an eye, I can stand on the street and see this thing without a man standing before it. I, no problem whatsoever to assume I'm on the street. I'm looking from the street to this platform. But you may say, well, what would that do? Well, let me do it and feel the reality, feel that solidity of the street under my foot and see this building from the street rather than looking to the street from here. If I do it and give it solidity, give it reality, I'll be compelled to go there. This is what scripture teaches. That is my blessing. I can penetrate a fact. And penetrating a fact, I can stand wherever I want to stand in this world. Then the promise is made, wherever the soul of your foot shall stand, that I have given to you. I'm not going to uh, make your promise and not fulfill it. I've given to you, if you can stand upon it. So I actually stood upon my apartment. I actually stood upon that floor. I felt the bed. I felt everything and gave it reality. My friend wouldn't allow himself to sleep in one place and assume that he was sleeping elsewhere because that is a divided state of mind. He didn't want to become a split personality and so he wanted to be completely coordinated. Well, he was coordinated, all right, for the next three years all in one little spot in his barracks. And for three years he couldn't get out because, first of all, he wouldn't try it because I turned his daily bread into the substance of fairy. And so he did not answer my letter. I've reminded him a few times since. Why didn't you answer the letter? Well, first of all, it didn't make sense. And I don't believe, said he, that really what you did was the sole cause of your discharge. You always question it. Then I repeat it another time and tell him again what happened this time. Well, that would have happened anyway. You do it a third time. You do it a fourth time. Do you know if you did it a thousand times, he will still say, do it once more. There's always, it will always happen as far as they're concerned. It just didn't happen because you did something. These things would have happened anyway. So why do you analyze people then? Then let things happen. We are not the creatures of circumstances, said a man who bears your name, for his first name is Israel. And Disraeli's name is simply of Israel, Benjamin Disraeli. And he said, man is not the creature of circumstances. Circumstances are the creatures of men. 